Help you? I don't know. What are you asking for this one? This one? Twenty twenty-five. For well, this? It's in good condition. Hmm. Well, thanks anyway. Say, Joe. What did he want, Joe? Ah, he didn't want anything. He's a shopper. You can spot him every time. No, I guess I'll go to lunch. Yeah, okay. Hi, Ted. Oh, Mr. Burnham. Got a minute? Sure. Well, how's it going? That's what I'd like to talk with you about. Sure. Well, first of all, I'd like to tell you I appreciate this opportunity, being made used car manager. You deserved it. You've done a good job in the past four years. I've had my eye on you. And you've learned a lot. And the job was open when I moved Smitty over to new car sales exclusively. Well, the way you're selling new cars over there, we're going to have a problem here unless we keep these trade-ins moving. Well, that's why I put the best possible man on the job. I've always said that used cars are not a problem, but a profit opportunity. I'm with you there. That's why I want a man who will take advantage of every opportunity. How free a hand have I got? How free do you want? I'd like to step back and take a good look at our entire used car operation. And open up full throttle with the value-rated program wherever it needs beefing up. Well, we're on a value-rated program now. I've been for a year. We got signs out there. Oh, a couple of lollipops. But I mean a real splash. Sir, I'd like to show you what I mean. Sure. Now look. I'd like to see the name Pernum spread out big, right across there. You know, really big. The way we do it next door. You know, you can tell that's Pernum Oldsmobile. The place to go for new cars or guardian maintenance. What I'm trying to say, sir, is that well, we shouldn't look like a stepchild or something out here on a used car lot. We can use more prestige here. Oh, I was reading an interesting survey the other day that showed that more people like to buy a used car from a new car dealer, almost three to one, than from a lot that just sells second-hand cars. That's the way I like to hear you talk, Ted. Matter of fact, I took a couple of hours yesterday afternoon and drove over to Allentown with the district manager to take a look at that Kelly Olds value-rated operation. Well, it was sure worth the trip. They're really dressed up and geared to move used cars. Hmm. What's that? Somebody's lost a ring. Back's broken. Must have slipped off. Nice signet. Mm. Looks valuable. Well, I'll just put it in the office in case anyone asked for it, huh? Now, oh, now, about those signs. Let me know what you want to do. Oh, well, just a minute. The signs are just a part of it. Let me tell you something I saw happen just a few minutes ago. A fella came in here to ask about this wagon. And Joe fumbled for the price, you know. Well, when he finally found it and told the guy, he just walked out. Well, it could be he was just a shopper. Yeah, that's what Joe said, but I'd have felt a lot better about it if Joe had had the price right on tap. Well, like this. The pocket stock list. Like it says right here in the guide. And if we'd had the value-rated label right on the windshield. Now, as I see it, we lost two darn good chances to build the prospect's confidence. Three, actually. The confidence that comes with the name of Pernum, an old established Oldsmobile dealer. The confidence in a prompt quote of the price and the confidence in the value in the car for the money. And he could have seen the value rated right there on the windshield. We've got those labels. They must be around here somewhere. Well, I'd be glad to find them for you, but I wanted you to see what I wanted to do. Well, it looks like we may have sloughed off some of the minor details of the program. Well, now, boss, my point is, I don't think they are minor details. 
I've studied this book. Fine, there's a lot of good stuff in it. And every detail is so carefully worked out. Every point builds on every other point. So that if you leave very much out, well, you haven't got the program. Mm. Now, I know you know the automobile business from A to Izzard. And I'd back you against anybody. You've learned it the hard way, 30 years of experience. But, well, you see, boss, I don't want to take that long to learn it. And I wouldn't be very good here for you or for myself or anybody else. Now, most of the things that you've learned are right in this book. Well, I can get them fast. Practical merchandising know-how, appraisal, reconditioning, pricing, selling, advertising, everything. It's all right here, and I want to make good use of it. I'll go to it. Get all the ideas you can. When you want to check anything with me, I'll be around. But you won't go far wrong if you do it by the book. Yes, sir. Back that warranty, Mr. Nellis, with our reputation. You folks have got yourselves a nice convertible there. I'd like to help you keep it that way in our service department. Thank you very much. Nice going, Ted. Wasn't that convertible one of the over 30 day units? Yeah. Had Barney give it a little more reconditioning, had him clean it up a little more, moved it up front and sold it right off. Nice going. Excuse me. How do you do, sir? I'm Joe Egan. May I help you? Oh, my name is Anders. I was here about six weeks ago. That is, I think I was here. Seems to be the right location, but I don't remember it looking like this. We've made a few changes. Yeah, I'll see. I'm retracing my steps. I, I lost a ring. See, I've been out of town. You didn't see or hear of one being found. I know it was some time ago, but I thought maybe... Yes, as a matter of fact, the manager said something about finding a ring. Just a minute. Uh, it was uh, a signet ring. Black hematite. I'll be right out. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, boy, I'm relieved. It's an heirloom. Say, I couldn't give somebody a reward. Oh, no, no, no. We're glad we found it for you. Thanks a million. Hey, when I was here before, I was looking at a station wagon. What's the price on this one? Twenty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty, huh? Automatic transmission, radio, heater, power steering, new tires, new battery, air conditioning. Pretty good price with all those extras on the car. Twenty-seven fifty. I, I think it's worth it. I, I'm looking for a good second car. My wife, you know. 
She likes to pick up her own peat moss and small plants and stuff. That's her hobby, fixing up the yard. So I got an idea. I think I'll bring her by. I'll bet she'll go for this. I'll be glad to bring it out to the house for you. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to be downtown this afternoon anyway, so uh, will you be here around uh, 3 o'clock? Yes, sir, Mr. Anders. Why, there sure have been some changes made around here. What happened? It's just our new value-rated used car program. There's more to the value-rated idea here than just a sign on a lot. Yeah, I can see that. It's just like a new car operation. Well, I'll, I'll see you later, Mr. Eaton. Bye, Mr. Anders. Same fellow. When he looked at that other wagon, I'd have sworn he was just a shopper. But he was an honest-to-goodness customer all the time. He wasn't afraid of the price. He just wasn't sure he was getting his money's worth. He's willing to pay even more for this one because he can see the value in what he's getting. Uh-oh, another customer. Mr. Burnham? Yeah, all right. Did you hear that, boss, what Joe was saying? No, I missed that. Joe says the customers are getting their sights up on value automatically because the lot looks almost like a new car operation. Oh, that's good. Oh, and speaking of new cars, look at these figures. Last week's new car sales. Hmm, still going up. As you've always said, as go used cars, so go new car sales. That's right. Uh, by the way, how are you fixed over here for a flood of trade-ins? Do you think we ought to get a big clearance sale going, splash advertising, uh, run some specials? Yeah. We'll run some radio jingles, paint cut prices all over the windshields, have a parade, shoot off some fireworks, rent some whirling floodlights, get a dozen girls with balloons, huh? Well, uh, do you think that'll all be quite necessary? No. You're right. No, six girls and, uh, no balloons, huh? <laughs> well, we don't need it, huh? Uh-uh. That's the value of our new policy. Well, that's what I thought when I looked at the books. We feel all pepped up over here. You know something, Ted? So do I. Now, I gotta admit, I was feeling the pressure there a while back. Then you grabbed hold of the used car end, and things start humming around here. I gotta hand it to you. You've got everybody doing it. Anyway, you've got everybody around the place stirred up. You and your value-rated program. Oh, don't give me all the credit, boss. Or the program, either. Well, that's a good program. When you've been in the business as long as I have, you'll find out how good. Oh, I, I suppose there was a time when there wasn't any used car problem. When owners drove their cars till they were ready to junk, then bought a new one. Oh, well, so long ago, I can hardly remember it. But today, uh, people trading every couple of years, new car trades, trade-on trades, and more trade-on trades. Come to think of it, this is the only business I know where you don't know how much you're going to make on a new sale until you've washed out the last trade-in. In other words, when you sell more new cars, we have to sell at least twice as many used cars to keep up. Well, if you don't, pretty soon we'll have all our profit tied up in used cars. Yes, and our working capital, too. Now, we both know that's not good because it leads to drastic action. When the dealers start distress wholesaling or panic selling, they're bound to slough off on the reconditioning, and even the customer loses. That's why this program is unnatural. That's why it's one of the best plans to come along in years. But only in total concept, boss. And I still say, don't give the value-rated idea all the credit it's you. <laughs> oh, no. no, come on, don't try to kid me. <laughs> As though I could. But you're not kidding me either. I know you've been back of me every step of the way. Sure, you let me run with the ball. Or, should I say, run with this. I just ran the plays. The book called them. But you are the all-important guy in this program. You are the boss. Things got rolling because you got into it personally. It still takes the boss to start him. A boss who sees this value-rated program as a total concept, like it says in the book. I imagine there are dealers, good dealers too, who adopted the program or are using parts of it. They'll get good out of it, but not all that's built into it. This is a carefully engineered program. All the parts have to be working, and when they are, you can really go places. Well, I know we're going places. It's a good business to be in, isn't it, Ted? I like it. 
when you've got a program like this going for you that helps keep your used cars current, I always say, used cars are not a problem, they're, they're a, a profit, profit opportunity. opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice doing business with you, Ted. Thank you, sir. That goes double for me. Thank you.